Hello, hello, my Leos. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope everyone is in great spirits. I want to say thank you to everyone who is subscribed to my channel, everyone who has been liking and commenting. I really appreciate the support. We're going to go ahead and get into a reading for Leo so we can look at what you need to know, uh, any advice or any messages that want to come through for the sign of Leo, okay? <clears throat> so let's see what's going on for Leo. Cards coming out right off the bat. So we have Capricorn, I use, this is so interesting because um, when I started this reading, I was thinking about starting my astrology videos because you guys know I practice sidereal 13 signs astrology. I don't practice Western astrology. And technically today is one of the first days of true Capricorn. The sun is actually transiting the constellation of Capricorn. And I was thinking about that before I started this reading. Um, so for that card to come out, I guess that's confirmation for me, but that may also be confirmation for you guys that Capricorn may be relevant for you in some way, shape or form. Uh, this could show up as Aquarius energy in Western astrology. So Aquarius could be relevant to you as well. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so we have air element here. Uh, so this was mostly supposed to be about your career. So for some of you, it is the time to take action on something that you want to do on social media. So I just gave you guys an example of what I'm, I've been like, what's been racking my brain lately. Um, so maybe some of you have an idea or something that you're supposed to be implementing on social media. This could be initiating a new platform for yourself. Like you could be getting on TikTok, you could be getting on YouTube, Instagram, uh, this is the confirmation that it's time to move forward because Capricorn energy is actually cardinal. Um, it's the boss. It's the initiator. It's it's a push. It's a very pushy energy, okay? Um, so this is where a lot of movement is going to start taking place, uh, you know, especially when it comes to businesses. You'll see a lot of people starting businesses. You'll see a lot of brand deals being made, um, especially because Pluto is actually in Capricorn um, in sidereal astrology. So you'll see a lot of transformations when it comes to business, okay? <clears throat> so it's a great time to start a business all right so we have um this void of course moon showed itself to me in reverse so that tells me again there's direction there's action you've already been given the instructions it's just time to take heed to them and put them into action so this is just the time to go, go forward um this is not the time to like act like you don't know what you're supposed to be doing because I find that a lot of times people act like they don't know what they're supposed to be doing and that doesn't do anything but keep you lost so even if there is a chance where you don't know what you're supposed to be doing you didn't get the directions from spirit you haven't been listening to your readers and you haven't been getting what you need then there's an, a need for you to ask those questions go into your tarot readings asking these questions what are my directions from spirit what is my purpose what is the result of me doing these these are the questions that you, you should be asking okay that's what you should be coming to these readings for so we also have a uh, seventh house partners and we also have um the nine of pentacles energy, which is part of fortune. In astrology, your part of fortune is, it's like basically what we call the pot of gold in astrology. If you start to activate your part of fortune, you'll see a very big increase in your finances. So for example, my part of fortune is in Scorpio. So because I do scorpionic type of things for work, I make pretty good money from that. And I saw like large increases in my career and prosperity from doing Scorpio type of things. Um, so you know, some of you, there is money coming in through a partnership, okay? A relationship, uh, working together with someone. You may feel like spirit is putting you in that energy, like having to work with someone, uh, especially with the fourth house down here, the four of wands. Uh, some of you may wind up having a child with this person at some point. Yes, this is like a romantic partnership, it feels, or at least somebody that you feel very close to. So this could be like a brother, sister, cousin, okay? Someone that you both have a vested interest in seeing your families grow, okay? Uh, Prosperity-wise, okay? So let's see what's coming in for Leo's. What guidance does Leo need to know about? Make sure you guys are liking the video. A thousand likes and a hundred comments. We're, we're going to do free love readings. We're getting closer and closer. So just hit the like button, comment. It's not going to kill you. I promise everything will go well. You don't have to be that person. It's like, I'm not going to hit the like button because she told me to. That's just lame. Anyway, we have the Knight of Cups. All right, so there is definitely an increase in your money coming in. I mean, literally this card says part of fortune increase. So the Knight of Cups, if you've been watching me a long time, you know that the Knight of Cups, is a this is a significant increase in finances for me. It's not a little bit. You also have the Fool card here. So you may be able to break away from any financial blockages. Some of you may be able to move because of the money that's coming in for you. We have the Seven of Swords. So you need to keep this to yourself. 
All right, this is not the time to be telling people your business or your plans. I told you the Nine of Pentacles energy. I told y'all that's what the part of fortune is. Um, but yeah, don't tell people about this money that's coming in for you, okay? Some of you guys really need to be like quiet. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. There is some prosperity coming in and it's because of the plan that you're about to put into motion. And like I said, especially for those who are thinking about doing something on social media, okay? Um, <clears throat> That will really help you get where you want to be right now. So this is not the time to like act like you don't know, okay? With the void of course moon in reverse, it tells me y'all do know. Y'all have some directions. Y'all already have received directions from spirit or me or something like that that has already told you how to get this increase, how to get this prosperity. Uh, this will also obviously help your love life because for some of you, I see a very prosperous uh, connection coming in for you, okay? Um, so this person may have already showed up into your life. Some of you, it could be a water sign, obviously. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, could be a Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini has came up so far, okay? Or they may have those placements in their chart somewhere, all right? So the High Priestess and the Two of Swords really fell out together. So I'm really saying that some of y'all need to keep your mouth shut about something i don't know why that is why is it that spirit is so adamant about y'all keeping this to yourselves and not telling anybody about this about this money queen of pentacles you may have pocket watchers okay you may have people who are pocket watching especially like an earth sign could be an earth sign woman uh could be somebody else king of swords chariot so just keep your business to yourself. Some of you, this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Cancer, Aquarius, all right? But there's some sort of, like, money coming in. All right, let me get one more card on this High Priestess and Two of Swords, make sure I'm not missing something with that. The Knight of Wands. Hmm. Get started is what they're saying. Yeah, get started. They're saying if you get started now, you'll see improvements within the next six weeks or so. Like, you'll start to see improvements. Uh, if you start to work on this now so the knight of wands is just saying get get to it like some of you may be trying to ignore this but the ace of swords is here saying you need to get started okay um so yeah i'm hearing let's get it started in here i'm hearing that by uh black eyed peas in my head so that is a message for someone someone out there you need to get started um so let's see what's going on for love for leos what love messages want to come out for leos for my Leos who support the channel and don't have a problem with showing love, <laughs> only them. Everybody else can kick rocks. Um, what is the love messages for my Leos coming in? This is my Oracle deck. I'm actually about to release this deck again. So if a lot of you have been asking me for this deck and I'm actually about to drop it soon. So make sure you support, okay? Um, this is Fuck It, I'll Do It Myself. So that's the Chariot card, okay? We just had the Chariot come out. So someone feels like they need to get to you. Somebody may need to feel like, somebody feels like they need to travel to you or they need to put in some sort of work. Like they see you as a challenge or they feel like there's a challenge getting to you and they're ready to overcome that challenge. Some of you, they've been waiting on you to hit them up and you haven't hit them up. So they're just going to hit you up. They're like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. Yep. Somebody's in love with you. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. They're in love with you. Okay, I think that's, um, isn't that Erica Badu? Yeah. <sighs> timing at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, somebody is not, somebody feels like the timing has to be right. But I don't know if it's so much about timing versus the right circumstances. Like I said, I feel like, or they feel like they've given you enough time to like, I don't know, be single. The Ace of Swords is a big energy in this reading. Um, or they gave you time to reach out. You didn't reach out, whatever. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this person that's coming up for Leo, this this love relationship. We got the hanged man, yeah. Okay, so they know there's some things they need to sacrifice for this connection. They know they need to make sacrifices for this connection. Uh, this person is also fearing that you have another option, the Two of Pentacles. They know that there is a chance that you can move on forever and not be with them. Like they are very aware that you're in this Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles energy. They see you this way. Um, what's influencing the reading is the Ace of Pentacles. So this tells me that this person's intentions are to marry you, to have a long-term relationship. Uh, some of you, money could be the issue for this person. What is this hangs man energy about? What is the hold up here? What is the blockage for this person coming towards Leo? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I told you, some of you, it's the lack of stability. It's not, they, they're having maybe money issues or 
Um, some of you, they need to get out of another relationship. They could be literally going through a divorce in their life. They're going through a change in their life. Yeah, some of you, they're going through a divorce. I told you the Ace of Swords is um, big energy here. You got three Aces in your reading. You got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. Uh, so, so, so I'm, okay, so I'm getting that the issue for this person is they're going through some sort of change in their life right now that is causing some instability. So this change could be a divorce. Uh, it could be a, a, a new job. It could be a business that went under. Now they have to start a new business. There's something here that has fucked up their stability. I have to be honest. Um, and that's what's holding them back from you. They also feel like you may have other options as well. That's not holding them back. That's actually making them feel like they need to get a move on things. Yeah, Six of Swords in reverse. Um, okay, there's a lot that just came out. Uh, this is somebody who may feel like they, okay, so I'm getting a couple different messages, a lot coming through. Okay, so this is someone who feels like they may need to come back to you. So this could be somebody that you cut off. That's another obstacle. But, uh, but for most of you, I feel like they're unable to like move. Some of you, there's distance involved. There's like literally physical distance because that chariot card came out. So some of you, they feel like they can't get to you physically. Like maybe they're having transportation issues or something like that. Okay. But I'm also getting for some of you, is there like a divorce here? Okay, that was a lot of cards that came out too. Yeah, they keep talking about money, wanting to provide or wanting to give you something, wanting to give you money or something like that, okay? That's been coming out in a lot of my readings. All right, let's clarify this Nine of Pentacles. I guess we should. Everything else had a clarifier. So, I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is just them saying that you're the shit. You look great. You, you smell great. You look like marriage material. Um, they're in love with you. I already said that, that they also feel like you're a very strong manifester, but I also feel like this is them getting their shit together too. Yeah. Okay. Let's get one more card. Let's see. Mm, there we go. The nine of wands. They feel like you're defensive to them. King of pentacles. Hmm. The 10 of swords. Let me get one more card. The page of pentacles. I don't know. It's like, they may feel like I don't know, for some of you, I'm getting two different people as usual with these two different aces, but I'm getting like some of you, there's, they feel like you're defensive to them because of how the relationship ended between the two of you in the past. Okay, they feel like the relationship, like you, I don't know, I hate to say like, that's not funny to laugh, but I'm just saying like, they may feel like you, they traumatized you in some way, or you, or they've made you very defensive towards them. Okay, heavy Capricorn vibes coming up, coming in here, Virgo. All right, uh, this is somebody who feels like they need to make things right with you, okay? Um, again, we could be picking up on two different energies, so you'll just have to take what resonates. Um, some of you, they want to take you out of this state of feeling like traumatized or exhausted. Like this person wants to take you out of that energy. So they don't want to come towards you unless they have the stability that they need with the Page of Pentacles. Um, we also have the Ace of Wands that showed up too. So all four Aces was in this reading, okay? So this is just a big turning point in your life. I feel like you're going to be doing the work for yourself with the High Priestess there. Um, I feel like when it comes to love, you're not doing the work either, which not that's not a bad thing. I'm, I feel like you're, you've done the internal work, but the outside work of like, you're going to let people come to you. Okay, with the high priestess. We've been talking about that, Leo, about how we tend to pounce after things um, and we don't, you know, we're allowing things to come to us. We're, if, especially if you're like a feminine Leo, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But it's like you're not chasing anything when it comes to love. I do feel like you're getting your shit together when it comes to money, though. That's one thing that I feel you're going to be taking a lot of action on. But when it comes to love, you're allowing yourself to be able to receive. Okay, so we have they're using you. That was uh, kind of in reverse, but, you know, we can take Some of you may feel like somebody was using you. We have more money coming in. Let's see what these cards are. We have the next 72 hours. So the next 72 hours may be relevant. We have pregnancy. So some of you could be finding out about a pregnancy. You could be pregnant. Maybe you could find out in the next 72 hours if you're pregnant. Uh, there are like different aces here. So pregnancy could also be relevant for some of you. And then we have car trouble. And I told you, I feel like somebody might be having car trouble. And that's why they can't get to you. Okay. Uh, some of you may need to do a money spell. I have opened up my Etsy's again. So if you guys want to get some spell work from me, um, you can get that. I'm not doing any products on Etsy. I'm just only doing spells. Um, so if you're interested in that, 
you can get that done with me. Um, I'll link that stuff below. But yeah, guys, that's what I have for you, Leos. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Please like the video, okay? 1,000 likes, 100 comments. We will do free love readings on live. We're also very close to 16,000 subscribers. So, of course, we always do a live every time we hit a subscriber's milestone. So, I can't wait for that. 16,000 strong Leos. What are you talking about? Like, do you guys know how big this channel is about to be? All right. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.